Uh, g'day, my name's Mick Radford. Uh, I'm currently Operations Manager Gippsland East in Victoria, uh, which covers three plants. I've uh, been with the business 22 years and been in the business of making concrete. Yeah, Wholesome Australia is a leading supplier in uh, aggregates, concrete manufacturing. Uh, we currently have 250 sites based across Australia. Directly and indirectly employ about 3,500 people. Um, and the businesses consist of batching plants, quarries, corporate office and manufacturing. Wholesome's strategy is to have a net zero uh, and part of that process is uh, electric machines. You've seen the background, Louis Gong loader. We take it really serious at Wholesome, trying to improve and aiming towards those targets. Uh, I'm Bob Bell from Louis Gong Machinery Australia. I'm the key account uh, product and after sales support manager. First dealings with Louis Gong was back in 2022. Uh, we purchased, I think, uh, four loaders, Bob, yep. from memory. And then that started the relationship and journey, I would call it. And then moving forward, June 2023, uh, we were asked to trial a green electric loader. Uh, we said, yeah, we'll, because uh, we're all about aiming for that net zero target, we'll give it a go. And the outcome was very, uh, was very impressive. We went them, then went on to purchase it in September. And since then we've had no issues and it's been a, a great asset to the business. Like Mick was saying, we, we got four loaders in here, diesel machines, and, um, and then in, uh, we started talking about electrics. And in 2023, we had the electric down here for two months on a trial. And it was beneficial to both parties because we had some data from overseas and I had some questions about that and we wanted to get it, collect our own data for this application in Australia. So we bought the machine down here and the machine performed probably better than we all expected. Yeah, agree. It could work long hours here between charges and could keep up with the production. The 856HE, can, like I said before, can work long shifts between charges. First thing, it, it means they don't have to stop in the middle of the day to charge the machine. It means the charging time is less, so the cost is less. Electric machines are not like diesel machines. They only need to be serviced every thousand hours, so the maintenance cost is much lower. You haven't got oils, filters, and labour time going into the maintenance of the machine. The actual machine itself performance is the, the breakout force of the bucket is greater than the diesel machines. Travel speed is similar, although on wholesome sites they have restrictions on speed, so we set the machine up for that machine. The hydraulics can be programmed via software to make them harsher or softer or do what we want the machine to do, and, and the same with the travelling. We can, we can uh, adjust the speed of the travel via the software. Critical point with Wholesome is the feathering of the machine into the into the bin there, um, and the, this is perfect. Just about their overs and unders in tonnage in and into that bin is is one of their key KPIs. So this needs to be spot on. Apart from that, Wholesome have a lot of uh, extra safety items they have on the machine, and that's no issue for us to cater to our customers needs in any of that vein. So the machine was basically set up for here and it's performed, like I said, better than we probably both expected. And of course that's opened the gate up for more more, uh, more machines for, for key accounts like Wholesome. Uh, look, we, we love a lot about it, especially its quietness, way it goes. Uh, servicing as Bob highlighted, uh, you know, you don't have as much downtime. Uh, average day is probably 10 hours. Uh, as Bob referred to, feathering of the bucket is our batching accuracy, and that's critical so that we're making consistent concrete. Comfort-wise, uh, layout in the cabin, uh, it ticks all the boxes. Uh, so very happy with the machine. So uh, there's a bit of history there, and this is why uh, I do love Bob and the team, is uh, when they first came down, we spent a lot of time together, um, but also any issues that popped up, <coughs> They were quick to have a technician down here, felt really well supported. And then this is, this is what you'd think would fade away. So after a couple of months of buying a new machine, you'd think that uh, Louis Gong and people have sold it to us, there you go, and they move away. Uh, every two weeks, I'd be getting a phone call from Bob, Brendan, how's the machine going? Give us some feedback, any issues? And they took the issues and the feedback on board. So the support is, I'd have to say, outstanding. So 
but don't tell Bob that. <laughs>